Hello and welcome to Archers Arena here at King Coyd Campus. We've got a great WBBL fixture for you today. We've got Archers against the Durham Palatinates. Now, Durham have lost their first game, but Archers have come out swinging. They've won their first two. I'm here joined by Candice today, a Wales under-18 and one of our very own Cardiff Archers under-18s. How are you doing? I'm doing very well. I'm really happy to be here and I'm so excited to watch this game. I think the Archers have been playing so strong in the moment mm -hmm. and just can't wait to see it at home because all the fans have been really waiting for this live action. Yeah, it's a great yeah. turnout today. We've got a packed out Archers arena. We've yeah. got lots of happy people, lots of people waiting for a good game. Mm -hmm. I reckon we've got a lot of scoring ahead of us. The Archers have come out well. They've had one loss in the cup, but so far in the league, they've been perfect. And we've got a lot to look forward to today. Anyone you're looking out for in particular? How did this start in lineup? Mm. I'd always say to always be a bit scared of uh, Lauren Soki because she's always yeah. on fire. She's always everywhere. And yeah. Shannon as well. Shannon yep. Hatch, of course. Yep. Yeah, a uh, leading scorer for the Archers this mm -hmm. year so far. Me, I've got my eye on Vanyan today. Um, I just yep. want to see if she can replicate the scoring that she gave us in the last game. Nine points in the first game this year, but 21 in a very, very close game last time out. When the team needed her, she put the team on her back. Told everyone I got this, and I want to see if she can do that again yes, today. Yes, I think she definitely could. She's been showing that in all of her GB games, mm -hmm. Archers, all different leagues and everything. She's doing really well. She looks like she's got a very bright future ahead. We're very lucky to have her here. We're not far from tip-off now. And looking at the opposition, it looks like we may have a height advantage here with the Archers. Yeah, yeah. We've got one forward registered in their entire roster. Wow. All guards, one forward which is surprising to see for any team. We've yeah, got a bit more a bit more height here yeah. with the Archers. So we'll see if they can try and take advantage of that down low in the paint. Archers have been shooting slightly lower than average, three-point percentage, shooting 25 for the year so far. So we'll see if they take advantage down low instead. And when you've got someone like Mara Machizotti, it's quite difficult not to take advantage <laughs> down low. Definitely not. <laughs> Mara, of course, who were played for Argentina in the 2018 FIBA World Cup basket. So we've got some experience. We've got experience all across the court. We've all across the world, even. All across the world. Yeah. Very true, very true, very true. Lots of former archers have gone on to wonderful, wonderful careers. And so it looks like we're getting this game started. I've got Mara in the jump. I yeah. don't know if that's a hot take <laughs> or not. I think sure? most people have Mara in most jumps. I debate between Mara and Lauren, really. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> okay. We've got three officials in the game today. Let's see how they police it. It's going to be interesting how much contact they allow to go on today with the height advances taken into consideration. Ah, oh. and Mara loses. Yeah, the that's surprising. Okay, and they're taking it yeah. inside. Oh, wow. oh. oh, strong start, strong start from Durham. Absolutely. Can we push the pace here? There we go. That's good. good. Power from Mizzy there. Yeah. Wide good, open. Good ball movement, isn't there? Yeah, no one's standing still. It's good. Nope. Oh, thank you. Oh, hmm. good rebound there. Oh, what oh. hassle. Archer's ball, Archer's ball. So that's a good start to the game. Yeah, We're getting good, good energy. Yeah yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. We'll take the first bucket to Durham. That's fine. Archer's ball. Cut around the back. Amazing. Oh, Simple, yeah, so effective. Yeah. So good. <laughs> so good. Okay, can they take it up the floor and set something up for themselves here? Durham loading up on the right hand side. Ball moves out. And the shot is up, and it's straight off the back of the rim. Never looked like it was going in, that one. No, no. Oh, oh Abby like Yanka, she gets her own rebound. Drives inside. Oh, oh just off with the shovel pass. Unlucky, unlucky. We've got Babeta bringing it up. Oh, oh wow. Jesse Wayne nice, with the bucket. That's a two-point, that one. Oh, really? Yeah, she stepped inside there? Yeah. Oh, it's a close call. Mm. Shannon, what can mm. she do? Give and go. No, Mara. Mara. Power range to turn it. Ooh, oh, unlucky, unlucky. That's going to be a good matchup all day. Yeah. Oh. L Hendershot is number 14 for 
Durham. Ooh. Ooh. It was a nice shot, though. Yeah. It was clean, wasn't it? I thought that was going to go in. I really thought that was in oh, wow. for the basket. Yeah, good Mara cleans Mara. up. Yeah. Okay. What can Lauren find? She finds Shannon Hatch. Wide open at the corner. Oh, oh unfortunate. Lucky, lucky. So coming out, we need to warm up a little, Archers. You know, not shooting the best clip so far, but it'll come. Yeah, it's always a bit rough at the beginning, I think. Of course. Yeah. Bautista driving inside. She's got a clear look. Uh, good rebound there. from Shannon there. Yeah. Lauren Saiki bringing it up. She's got Shannon in the middle. Yeah, yeah perfect. There, there we, we are. are. Good. Every time they work the ball around together, they get a good look. So Archers and Durham, four apiece so far. We've got Bautista bringing it up, the Spanish international for Durham. Does she use the pick? Yes, she does. Splits the defense. Oh. It's collapsed, yeah. Oh, good hustle, look at that. There we go, nice. the referees have to intervene. We'll get a jump ball. Well, it's a good start. They're looking to really try and run at them, Archers. I mean, there's a lot of pace with that backcourt that we've got, and Shannon's always moving on the, on the cut, Shannon Hatch. Mm. Um, do you think that they need to try and get more open shots, or do you think they should be trying to get that penetration inside, Candice? I think they're doing quite well at the moment because the off-ball movement seems to really tie in well with when they're cutting in and the penetration. Yeah. Like, just that. That there was really good go. for Mara. Perfect. Yeah, they managed to balance that quite well, I think. Yeah, whatever the opposite of the commentator's curse is, that's what just happened. Mm. <laughs> All right, and a good rebound for Shannon Hatch here. Got a push, you got men over. Lauren Saiki leading oh, team. Shot. Open shot there. Oh, Amazing. Fuck it all day. Lovely three pointer. Lovely. Is that Abby? Yeah. Abby Sanka. For Barbato. With a bounce pass. Whoa. What a defensive okay. push from Izzy Bunyan. <laughs> and the rebound by Shannon Hatch. And we get going again. Cardiff Archers really moving fast in transition. Ah, uh, uh, just nice a little too audacious. Out. Ball is out. Cardiff Met Archers call a timeout. Well, takes your breath away, doesn't it? Yeah, that was, wow, so intense straight away from the beginning. Good. I mean, I think they'd be happy to go into the first timeout with a five-point lead. Obviously, we've uh, had a couple of missed shots, but overall, Cardiff Met really look like they're up for this game. Mm. Um, like you were saying, the off-ball movement seems to be really vital to how they're getting good looks. Yeah. Uh, I wonder if Durham can really try and get a hold of this game before it gets away from them early. Mm. Last time out, Durham unfortunately lost by a whopping 54 points that must hurt. That to must Sheffield. Really hurt. So how much? So you you play basketball yourself yep. for the Met under under 18s. What does a loss like that do to your confidence as a team? Ooh, we we have actually this year we've experienced quite a bad um, loss as well. It's just you feel like you have nothing. Um, what would you say? You feel like you can't grasp it because you haven't you couldn't help it because mm. it's such a large goal. Like you can't get back up, so you know you're finishing that game with such a bad loss, and there's yeah. no really hope for that game. But it is important to keep positive and you know back to the next game, back to zero, square one. Okay, so Durham, we're going to be really looking to try and regain that confidence. They're coming out of this timeout a little slow. Cardiff Met setting up for, for a few seconds before them. Maybe that can indicate just how ready Cardiff are for this game, maybe in comparison with this Dunham outfit. Let's see if Steph Collins has walked something else nicely here. We've got Hatch at the three-point line. Finds Abby Yanka. Izzy at the top of the key, down to Mara. Izzy. Wow. Ah, Lucky. unfortunate. Durham ball. Mara nearly got her hands on that offensive rebound. Durham will get a chance to bring the ball up the court now. So, Bautista bringing it up again. The Spanish oh, wow. international. Good defense. There we are. Nearly got her pocket yeah. picked. Izzy Yanka. Izzy Bunyan, I'm sorry. Playing out on the perimeter with that defense there. Mm. She's got to close out the shooter. But also got to watch the driving lane. Mara wow. trapping. That was good. Izzy running out. Got to get it up. Left hand layup. There we go. Stuff. <laughs> That's confidence. She's really got finesse when she goes in close. Yeah, she does. Keeps under the control, especially in that such high pressure there. Mm. Barbato, number five there for Durham. She seems to be leading most of the possession for Durham. She seems to be bringing the ball up every time. Oh, a clean shot. Oh. 
Unfortunately, that bounced off the backboard. Not great technique there. And here we have Lauren Psyche again. Mara finding Shannon Hatch open at the three. Unfortunately, that just bounces out. Both teams seem to be running the ball quite quickly off the court. Not really settled into the game, maybe in terms of control. But Durham, oh, that was a poor shot yeah, selection there. Yeah. She rushed that. Very rushed that one. Lauren Psyche, she's just everywhere. Oh, what a pass. Amazing. Oh. There we are. Lovely. I mean, it's, it's, it's difficult to not score when you've got a pass like mm -hmm, that. Mm -hmm. She's really leading the offense here, Lauren Psyche, our point guard. The speed she has as well and keeping it under control is phenomenal. Mm. Oh, is that a foul on Abby Yanka? Okay, side ball out. Barbados going to throw the ball in. Well, we've got five points for Abiyanka, five assists for Lauren Psyche already. Wow, gosh. That's unbelievable. That is crazy. We've got four minutes to go in this first quarter, and she's already got five. Double, double incoming. Ooh. Weak on that shot there, Durham. Is he, she recovers. Nice. Yeah, recovery. Lauren Psyche, can she set the team up again? Oh, such a lovely hesitation. Oh. Jelly, oh, nearly an and one. Mm. Just how much confidence does that give everyone out there to know that they've always got the control of the point guard out yep. of the top of the key? <laughs> they called the foul before the shot. Oh, there oh, we go. Simple. Same again. There we are. It's, it's always on this left side at the moment, lovely isn't it? Lovely back cut. Is he working Beautiful. hard? Really yeah. good. Crisp. Steph clearly got them working on working off the ball, moving all the time, no one standing still, everyone taking part. Mm. Natufe passing it out. Batisto, Beto, sorry. Is that a push on Shannon Hatch there? Referee called. So we've got Izzy Bunyan jumping off here, taking a little rest she's been running non-stop for these first seven minutes I think she deserves that Lauren Psycho Psyche still coming up seven assists for her now oh and she's free beautiful, wow, beautiful. mid-range really good Unbelievable. such a flow yeah yep. finesse to it amazing about to stab finds Henda shot that's traveling surely Ah, and, and, one. and one. Well, I think they missed the traveling from Hendershot out yeah, there. Yeah, I think so as well. Yeah. But um, maybe she caught it on the gather step. But it was a good drive, I must say. It was a good drive, and she went right at the rim there. So mm. maybe she deserves that one. We've got Molly James on. Yeah, Molly James just came back from a knee injury, actually. So she's slowly oh, coming wow. back in right now. Yeah, so it's great to see her back in. So we'll be tracking how long she gets out on the court today then. We've yeah. also got Kim Kang. In the number oh, 13. Goes in. And Lauren brings the ball up. She's got James to her right. Always open runners. Shannon maybe looking to go alone. Got amazing James. ball screens on the off ball yeah. there. Yeah. Oh, that was a nice drive. Nearly yeah. got the out one. We'll take two free throws. If they can get to the line consistently, because they've got the height advantage, they've got the size advantage down low, mm -hmm. they're going to be able to attract those kind of fouls all game long. Okay. And the first is off. No real, you know, pattern or no, any yeah. kind of one bounce there. Do you need unlucky. a routine when you're at the free throw line, you I think? I have done actually a bit of research on that. And yeah, it does help a lot psychologically putting you in that sort of bubble. Yeah. Or yeah. well, you see people like Yanis taking excessive amounts of times in the NBA. So maybe there is something to it. These people who maybe aren't the most affluent free throw shooters yeah. ending up relying on those psychological tricks to get through it. Oh, and it's great pressure from the front. Lauren, can she find... An open archer. 
ends up open herself. That's Molly James. Oh, wow. Good Lovely. Shot. Really good shot. Really nice. Every time they get the ball down low, I'm very, very confident that they're going to get the ball in. Look at Durham, and when we were talking about off-ball movement, that's what seems to be lacking from them. Yeah, see people are very much stationary. Yeah, stuck to their corners, one pr person bringing the ball up, maybe a screen, mm. and that's pretty much all there is. Whereas archers seem to be really, really complex what they're doing off the ball. Mm -hmm. Seems like coach has really got into them in training this week in preparation for this one. Mm. Is that options, Izzy back yeah. on? Izzy and Mara back on. We've got Lauren Psyche going off and Shannon Hatch going for a well-deserved rest. Yeah. <laughs> That's an unbelievable first quarter. Two points and seven assists for Lauren Psyche. Four points and five rebounds for Shannon Hatch. And the second free throw goes. Izzy's going to bring the ball up. She's got a nice handle for a girl so tall. Mm. Really, really oh, wow. confident bringing the ball up. Oh, that like audacious. That was nice. I like that yeah. little turnaround. Mm. We've got open shooters. Be careful here, Archers. Can't get drawn in. Mara Mazzotti stuck in that drop defense. They didn't want to jump out and leave the rim exposed. Mm. Good boxing out from the Archers, I think, on that Absolutely. defense. Is he available? James on the drift round. A good fake there from Abby. A big hustle again. Oh, is that a foul? Well, Durham ball there. Not exactly sure what happened. We got a substitution. It seems to be like for like for Durham. No real positional changes. And we've got Barbato bringing up the ball again. Izzy, she's got the height advantage in this one. She just, oh, oh good pressure, but yeah, that was a foul from Izzy. Mm. She took the foul, let him get into position, reset, because they had a nice drive open to the basket there. That's what comes from that aggression, though, doesn't it? It gives the opportunity, if you don't succeed, to the opposition. Mm -hmm. Wide open three. Oh, there we are. That's got to go in. Get it. Yeah, oh, right. lucky bounce. Good. But deserved. Yeah, if you're going to get wide open like that, you deserve to make the shot. He's just got oh, a lane here. Oh, good. good hustle. Good hustle. Jump the way ball. she dives straight into yeah. that. Yeah. No hesitation. No. Go in for that ball. What a talent she seems to be. What a talent. We got Kang with the ball out. Is he once again looking to initiate offense? Oh, good passing on the inside there. Mara down low. Can we get any runners? Izzy's got some space. Wow. Lovely. That's a three. That's a three. Very clean form. Watch that same open corner. And another three. Ah. And out of bounds. Well, they had two open shooters there. Maybe chose the wrong one. That number nine for them scored last time out. Mm. Her name is Ava Pachesha. Is he once again initiating offense? Mara down low. This oh. is too easy. You can't block that. Too easy. She just drives. It's her ball, yeah. her basket. She's been so dominant ever since she's arrived here at Cardiff Net. Oh, what a drive. Oh, oh that's unlucky. That's unfortunate because mm. she drew Izzy in and she had a wide open shooter again. Mm. I worry if as we rotate through this Archer's team, that perimeter defense maybe just drops a little. That was a lovely screen there. There's loads of screening going on on offense so all the time with Archer's. So much off ball movement. Yeah. And we've got 2.4 on the clock. And it's Durham ball. Well, it's going to have to be spectacular here. If it's going to go, Ooh. they can't get yeah. the shot up. So it's 24-12 Archer's at the half. What a fantastic start that for our That is incredible. Girls. I bet all the home fans are super happy to see this. Absolutely, absolutely. So this is looking like a fantastic game we've got ahead of us. Considering that they're averaging 70 points a game, the Archers, by the way this is going, they're on their way to scoring 96. Oh my gosh. Let's go for triple digits, shall we? Hell yeah. 
So what are you looking at most of all from this Durham team? Where do you see any weaknesses that could lead to some trouble for the Archers? I think it's as we've mentioned, they just seem very stationary. Mm. So there's not very much tactical or making it hard for the defense to work yeah. because the defense aren't needing to move as much as very we're true. making the Durham move. Yes, Yeah. very true. Mm. Well, they found a couple of open shooters towards the end, so maybe it's that second unit that could really end up punishing the archers as we rotate and let our starting five have a little rest. Everyone getting a breather now, so hopefully we'll be back for the second quarter with everyone raring to go. Well, a win today would have the archers joint top of the table so far this season. Can't ask for any more than that. Oh, hell no. Literally can't. <laughs> that would be great. Um, I think everyone would have taken these kind of results from these first three games. Had a tough time, first time out, um, against Manchester. Uh, no, I'm sorry, against Essex. But then a dominant performance over the Manchester Mystics. 14-point win. Well, it's up oh, by 12 okay. now, so it's looking like if it carries on this way, it could be a bit more of a gap. They've just got to keep this consistent. I think they've got it. Yeah, they've got to have that real killer instinct here to get going. So That's you, what uh, you must remember in the WBBL we have side out restarts to the quarters. Uh, if you're used to watching the NBA, you might be slightly confused at that. That's just a slight variation of the rules. Now Hendershot finds the open three, and it's down. Okay, once again. Durham hit first. Abby Yunker's open over here. Can they find her? Yes. Took a little while. Izzy's repositioned. She good goes drive. in strong, gets the rebound. It's good work. Look She's surrounded. Hassle. She needs help there. And now they've got a three on four drive. And one. Wow. <laughs> what a good start for Durham that <laughs> is. Could end up being a five point swing here after the first couple of possessions. Well, let's see if they get this one down. But Archers maybe, maybe not quite ready to get back into this. Maybe they just settled a little, chilling out in the quarter and uh, haven't really got going. Plenty of time. Nine minutes, 20 left on the clock. Let's see if she can nail the M1. Yes, Clean. she can. Nice. Shanna Hatch with the restart. Lauren Psyche bringing Lauren it back. back in. Seven assists in the first quarter. <laughs> I mean, that's just <laughs> unbelievable. And she's open. Great give and go. Once again, you got Yunker and Izzy There's open. There's a mismatch there apart, I think. Shannon Hatch. Wow. Buckets all three. day. Woo. Buckets all day for number 22. They're trying to run out and drive. Pasheshev in the corner. We've got Broad number 13 open and someone else open at the corner. Went herself and, well, maybe that's a bit of karma for you. <laughs> Shannon Hatch running oh, out. Oh, there we go. Easy layup. Team basketball, Simple. beautiful there stuff. <laughs> uh, and Lauren Psyche, I mean, she was everywhere in the first quarter and she's picking them up full court now in the second. Where'd she get all this energy from? Yeah, power, power. Yeah. Looking like a bit more movement here for Durham. That's good defense from Mara there. <laughs> She's not getting past Mara on the low block. No, there we and go. Once Another again, there. Just running out. We're just too fast. Just too fast. Is that Abigail Yunker again? I think it yeah. was. There's a big mismatch on speed, I think. Yeah. The archers is very, very speedy. Well, if they can get that outlet pass on target every time, there may be easy buckets coming our way. Nice. That's good dribble in there from 10. Oh, couldn't quite get the bucket in. Mm. But called for, okay, a foul on the arm of the shooting motion on Bautistav. She'll head to the line. Bautistav, a Spanish international, now at Durham. And Mara seven out. Oh, Mara is out. And Lara back in. She's from Hungary, actually. Hungarian. Yeah, Hungarian player. They've got a good side coming along now. They, they did rather well at Eurobasket this summer, mm. if you're keeping up with that. Not quite to the level of Spain and Slovenia, 
but they're definitely on their way. One of those other Eastern European teams people don't really think about in terms of basketball or sports no. in general, but they really do have some fantastic athletes. They do, definitely. Strange over-the-shoulder motion there for the free throw. Mm -hmm. Not really, that I think, yeah. the technique that a coach would be looking for. And Hatch is open from the mid-range. Wow. Easy. Simple. But Schumann is really good. It's fantastic yeah. so far. I mean, it started off a little slow, but then they got going and they hasn't really stopped. Oh, nice. And good there she there. is. With the rebound. Is he driving in? She's got oh, help. She get it back. And the ball back goes out. Halfway. Archer's ball. Once again, is he diving for that ball as soon as she lost it? Maybe that could have been a tighter handle, maybe. But to be fair, when she did get the ball poked out, she dove straight at the ball and secured it for an archer's restart. Movement again, Shannon Hatch open from outside. Izzy repositions. And a nice open three. Oh, oh unfortunate. Lucky and lucky. With Mara off, though, we do lose a little bit of that height and strength inside, so I wonder if the rebounding will display that at the end of this half. Oh, wow. That was a very, very clean shot. Open wide. Lauren seemed to dare her to shoot that. No hand in the face. Just let her go, and she punished us for that. Nice look at that. There. Fake inside to go back around. Wow, look. Oh, unfortunate. Oh, Izzy nearly got that one in. Fantastic game so far for the Archers. Up 33 to 21. Durham with the three. Doesn't even hit the rim there. Look how speed you can see. Look, all the, most of the Archers are down the court before going out. Yeah, they're all lagging behind you, yeah. right. Mm. If you're watching this live with us, you can probably notice this yourself. By the time they're hitting the paint, there's three people still jogging up to mid-court mm. from the Durham side. Lauren at the free throw line. Only two points so far. We've got Lauren from America. And that's clean. Nice. Shannon Hatch going back, getting ready. Look at how high we're pressing. Yeah. Shannon that's comfortable one -on, -one on the perimeter. There. Start again. Oh, that was well worked using the screen, but misses still. Shannon needs to find the runner here. Izzy's wide. There we are. Again, and one. And one. Beautiful, beautiful play. Copy and paste. That seems to be. <laughs> Just keeps going on and on and yeah. on. Yeah. Copy and paste. I think that should be a good new nickname for Izzy. <laughs> Okay, let's see how she shoots these two. Oh, wow, sorry, just the one. Oh, a bit too short ah, there. Little weak, but good pressure. Hatch comes up with it. Lawrence Brown on there. Is he repositioning straight away? Someone's got to find the corner. Wow. Nice handle from Lauren. And a third Ooh, attempt. That was bounce. over the line yeah. there. Well, well done, the officials, for spotting that. It's good about Lauren, she can really keep the composure and knows exactly yeah. when to speed things up and when to slow things down. It's really interesting. Such a unique skill. Mm. Vital to a point guard. A bit more movement in this second yep. quarter for Durham here. Oh, good Unfortunately there, Shannon Hatch got a hand on the ball but couldn't keep it under control. So we'll get a Durham restart. They're down by 17 now. 38-21 to the Archers. They've missed a few open shots, so I'm not even sure if it's the preparation for the shooting that they need to improve on, but it looks like yeah. they're shooting it well there. Yeah. I mean, Lauren here instigating again. Avianca drives. Wow, there we go again. Copy and paste, so copy and paste. So simple. Oh gosh. Really just stick with the basics and it works, what? doesn't it? Is that a time out there? Or a foul? Loving the energy on the bench of the Archers as well. Yeah. They're really supporting. Everyone really supporting. Coach and bench. Happy unison there. Mm. So they got a little breather here. I think they deserve that. 
up by 16, 40 to 24 here. Well, what do you think of this game so far? Wow, um, I just think the Archers are doing amazing. It's really good. But Dunham are creeping back, I think. Yeah. They have upped their game from the from the first quarter, I think. 100%. Yeah. So um, Archers need to, just need to keep focused and not just rely on the score and thinking that they're way too ahead because that can decrease really quickly. Yeah, it's interesting. It was interesting when you were talking about Lauren coming from the US and we've got Hungarian players, yeah. Argentinian players. It's really yeah. interesting. The Cardiff Met Archers actually only have one Welsh woman <laughs> in their <laughs> roster, being Izzy Bunyan. Um, crazy, isn't it? It's crazy. Yeah. Um, well, um, Hatch from Switzerland as well, actually. Yes, yeah, yeah. Shannon Hatch yeah. is Swiss. Yeah. A lot of people assume that she's from GB because she speaks English so well and whatnot, mm. but she's actually Swiss. But yeah, is he the only Welsh woman in our entire registered roster? Gosh. Really surprising. I mean, she plays for GB under 18s and 16s already. She, she dropped 21 points in her last game, as I mentioned previously. She's not coming back in here. She's taking a breather. Maybe we can see more action from Shannon here seem to be oh wow. she's sitting there at a great Amazing. clip isn't she yeah. she's been fantastic so far but i just want to see a little bit more volume in her shots she doesn't seem to be running it as much we're seeing izzy and lauren on the ball a lot yeah a bit excessive pressure there from durham number six that's jesse wayne there pretty heavy strap on the leg i don't think i'd want to be playing with yeah, that much no. on the leg Maybe that's a return from injury, or maybe that's just prevention. Shannon with such good movement. She's breaking nice ankles, she's there. not even on the ball. Unfortunate. Really went in for the rebound there, the archers. Three people oh, committed. Good drive. Look at that. Oh, that unlucky. That's so unlucky. close. Really deserved that. She's angry at the ref there. Lucky to not get a technical, maybe, for that shouting at the ref. Mm. Lucky there. Oh, no, she's getting one. Well, if you're watching here with us, you may be just as clueless as we are <laughs> because we can't hear the officials, unfortunately. But, yes, it was a technical foul. I thought so. Screamed right in the face of the official. He can't be doing uh, that, okay. not in this league. Unfortunately, they missed by Lauren Psyche. And... Because of the technical, of course, one shot and the ball one. Lauren bringing it up now. Five points, one rebound, and nine assists so far. Let's see if we can get to double digits before the end of oh, this quarter. Oh, she can easily. Look, Look at, at that. that. Oh. Stop and go. Rebound. Unfortunate. Couldn't quite keep it under control. That's a good grasp from number 12 there. I'm it's doing it. Unbelievable. That stop and go where she can just pull up on a dime and go again. Mm. Such speed. And there you see it on the closeout. Unfortunately, ah. maybe a little too fast for her own good there. <laughs> but you do see that speed. There was a wide open shooter and then there wasn't. A cannon. Literally a cannon. A cannon, yeah. yeah. Lauren the cannon psyche. <laughs> Here we go. We've got Jesse Wayne with the ball here for Durham. We've got Brat open. Oh, again. But they go for the drive. She gets the foul. I think that. W I think that's fair. Always driving on the right side. I, I could. Yeah. I think, yeah. They're loading up on one side and then driving the other. I, I think it, it seems to be working because they get shooters open and they get some kind of driving lane. It's just whether or not they can split the defense mm. to get that layup without real cover from the defense. But that speed that we were talking about that seems to be benefiting the archers going forward, probably a massive benefit here on the defensive end. I mean, maybe you can tell our audience who maybe don't play basketball as much, how important is lateral speed and speed in general on the defensive end? It's just, you just need it. I mean, on offense, you've always got to read the offense, how the body works, and how there's different change in pace. Mm. Always need to be fast on your feet, always on your tiptoes running around. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, that one didn't quite go the archer's way. Ball thrown out of bounds, so Durham will get the ball going again. Barbeto looking for some movement here from her teammates. Jesse Wayne was open, but read beautifully by Abigail Yunker. 
She's got options here. Finds oh, Shannon Hatch. Out to Lauren Psyche. Back to Shannon Hatch. Wow. Wow, that mid-range is so smooth from her today. She's hit that four times already from the mid-range this afternoon. Swish, swish, swish. <laughs> 13 and 9 for Shannon today. And the ball comes out again. Lauren Psyche. Dangerous pass there. Ooh. Abigail maybe wow. rushed that, but we'll take it. We'll Risky take shot, it. shot, but it went in, so yeah. there we go. <laughs> I mean, that's one of those ones where the coach kind of gets up and screams, no, no. yes. <laughs> okay, what can they get going here, Durham? Driving inside. Ooh. Is that Durham ball? Yeah. They get a hand on that, the archers, but unfortunately the ball goes out of play. They can't keep it under control for the steal. But there we are. So far in this game, it is 46-26. Two minutes and 28 left in the first half. 20-point lead for the Archers. Just doing the math for you there. And uh, let's see if they can finish this one out strong. Once again, Archers being drawn into the middle of the paint, leaving shooters open. They weren't punished there. They do say if you shoot from further out, the rebound goes further out. So. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Perhaps that's a strategy that Durham can maybe be trying to use to get back in this game. Got to shoot the three more. See, <laughs> they really do not do well when they're going inside because of that height advantage, size advantage, strength. I think that possibly the Cardiff Met Archers are just outmatched, just outmatching the Durham team. Yeah. And there we are. Good there. Cardiff drive inside, draw the foul, and that's Kim Kang there. Back into the lineup off the bench. We'll get two shots here. Kim not with a bucket yet. She's got an assist. Let's see if she can get some points on the board. Mara coming back in. Shannon taking a seat. I don't think she wanted to come out there. No, no. I think she's feeling it. Heading straight to the bike for a warm down perhaps. There we go. There's Kim's first point of the afternoon. So, so far, we've got Abby Yonker with 11, 3, and 2. And then we have Lauren with 5, 2, and 11 assists. That's yeah. just so good. About really half time. Good. I mean, if she carries on, I mean, 22 assists in one match, that would just be, just be enormous. Mind-blowing. <laughs> I mean, you talk about certain games you remember from the past in... The NBA, there was one game where Westbrook got 20, 20, 20. We talked about that for years. Is that another technical? No, timeout called. Timeout, yeah. They need to work something out. The signal for the T for technical and the T for timeout mm -hmm. are far too similar mm -hmm. here. What's going on? What's going on? Well, Lauren. I think timeout is hands like that. Yeah. Your hands are flat, and then technical is just with your index fingers. Ah, I'm pretty sure. There we are. Yeah. Well, thank you, Candice. <laughs> learn something new every day. I'll take that. It's not a bad thing to learn. Well, Lauren Psyche has been fantastic with the assists so far. And it does make sense. In the first two games, she assisted 42% of <laughs> all buckets by the Cardiff Met Archers. What an unbelievable stat. A 42% assist ratio for her. Unbelievable. Shannon Hatch leading the team with a 24% scoring ratio. That means that all points scored by the Archers, 24% of which were by Shannon Hatch. Wow. But if you compare the difference between, let's say, Lauren Psyche, who's got 22% of scoring, to Shannon's 24, she's got a 42% assist to Shannon's three. Just shows you how Lauren really is all over the court. She's bringing the ball up. But when she passes it, she's not sitting back and letting Shannon or Mara or Izzy just run the play from there on. She's moving straight away. It's a give and go. She's pulling up. She's driving late. She's all over the court. So we've got a minute 30 left as we get started again before the end of this first half. Molly James on the ball at the top of the key. Izzy looking to drive, maybe. She gets inside. Whoa. And Bit of a risky one there. Lucky there, yeah. She drove straight into contact. Maybe a little overconfident. See, if I just can hit the 50s, mm. I reckon they could. Yeah, they got a minute. 
I'll always back our girls. Jessie Wayne with a shot. Ooh. Missed down again. She's hit two threes this quarter. That's got to feel good. Yeah, I mean, if her teammates were playing to the same level that she was, and she's doing this all with her legs strapped up like that. Mm -hmm. Oh, we got Cami Barone in, actually. First time in the season. Cami Barone? Yeah, Cami Barone. So she's from France, that one. <laughs> ah. Yep. Well, I Do didn't see that substitution, there. but yeah, she's working hard. Mm. The closeout just wasn't fast enough for Molly James. Another timeout called. The Cardiff Met. Only 39 seconds to go. So maybe they just really want to try and push maybe a two for one here. Maybe really want to try and organize a worked out set play. Coach Steph Collins on her knees giving and delivering this message during timeout. Durham didn't start out great. Came into it a little this quarter. They're 14 points beneath the arches at the moment. I know that doesn't sound like they've done very well this quarter, but there were times when he was in the 20s. So they've caught up a little. Mm. The archers, like you say, still definitely have the opportunity to hit 50 points. I'm still crossing my fingers for triple digits by the end. Yeah, I believe in that. I believe Let's in see that. it. It'll be the first time this season for any team in the WBBL to hit 100 points. Amazing. And what better place to do it than home? Absolutely. First game back in the Archers Arena. Remember to make sure and come down and watch us live in the flesh as well as on our live stream from here on out in the season. You can find all tickets online at Cardiff Met Sport. If you're a student watching this, it's only a pound a ticket. A pound a ticket. It's nothing. I mean... You can't get much better entertainment value than a pound for two hours worth of entertainment here at King Coy Campus. Cardiff go again. Time management, very important here if they're going for the two for one. Izzy brings it up. Roan. Izzy repositions and finds the ball again. Mara down low. Movement, or oh, she's going herself. Oh, nice oh unlucky. Ah. Just couldn't get the curve on that. No, 15, 15 seconds left. If they're clever here, Durham, they'd run out the clock. And they take an early shot. Wow. Ah! Wow. The risk wow. pays off here. And there we are. Wow, great hustle there. Whoa, okay. So Izzy would not let that one through. <laughs> they're not letting that shot down. Archers unable to make it 50, but still finished the quarter strong. The first half, we are 48 to Cardiff Met, 37 the Durham Palatine. Okay, guys, can I please ask all the primary school children to come onto the court and come and grab a basketball from the cage? Well, make sure you don't go anywhere. We've got the second half coming up after a 10-minute break for halftime. We have not got much better to offer you than Archers basketball. Got a lot of support from um, primary schools around Cardiff. Yeah, we've got a lot. There may not be enough basketballs for everybody, but so please find a partner and share. So we've got two separate primary schools coming in today yeah. to support our ladies. We've got St. David's Primary and Radnor Primary coming in today. So we've got lots of excited kids looking to get involved with basketball, looking to get involved with the King Coy campus. I mean, there's so many opportunities here for communities to get involved. And what better way to get introduced to basketball than with the archers. Exactly. I mean, the facilities here are fantastic. You're not going to get many gyms better equipped to be learning and training for basketball than this. I mean, you're going to have to go a long way. You're going to have to go a long way to find better facilities than this. <laughs> I mean, how long is it that you've been with the archers at the moment? I know you're with the under-18s, but how many yeah. years is that? Well, I started when I was 14. 14. Yeah, so we could say four years. But it's been uh, interrupted because of COVID. Of course. So I've just had... 
one official season, which was last year with D2 women. Right. And now this is my second season with under 18. Well, yep. obviously we're hoping for the best of luck for you. Yeah, thank you very much. But if there's any parents with kids wanting to play basketball, would you say 14 is the right age? Or do you think even younger, like these as kids? As young as you want, because I feel like the, obviously all the different uh, age groups mm -hmm. are you know, designed for their group. So when you're younger, you'll obviously do a lot of game time, little fun things, just yeah. nothing crazy to pressure, but as a social event as well. So I think Archers caters all different levels, ages. Make yeah. sure it suits everyone. It's a very inclusive, inclusive organization, the Archers. We've got lots of different age groups if you want to come on down and get joined in. Can't forget about the mascot as well. Oh, I mean, no. Archie. <laughs> Love it. It's really nice. Give me a fist bump. Mm -hmm. are, we, are we off?
Hello and welcome back to Archers Arena in King Coid. Me and Candice are back here ready to watch the second half. What are you expecting to come up in this quarter? I think Archers are still going to go hard and I just think, I hope it's going to be the same intensity as the first half. Absolutely. This third quarter seem to be the most important if you're going by points. Ke teams that kill games off, kill it off in this quarter. Mm -hmm. The more they score this quarter, the more they can rest their main players in the fourth. Yeah. Lauren Saiki, 11 assists in the first half. Brings it up again for the Archers. Good screen. She's got shooters. Wow. Oh, oh. lucky. Great way she positioned her body the there. The way she just, yeah, She's side falling step. down. Yeah. Unbelievable. Got such control. Such control. In the first half, the archers dominant inside, but unfortunately couldn't really capitalize any time they went outside. Durham scoring more and shooting more from outside. I wonder if Steph Collins will have been telling our archers oh wow about that what that foul. was did you see really that really heavy she had both arms wrapped around the chest there she takes it really well i know yeah. some players that would just go crazy with that foul absolutely they would freak out absolutely i i almost think rightly so yeah what <laughs> <laughs> half rugby all right lauren psyche at the line well she's looked good from the outset here Leading both possessions, getting fouled and just missing before that as well. So if we're looking at the leaders for the Archers in terms of the statistics from that first half, we've got Shannon Hatch with 15, leading the point scoring as he has been all year, as we are so used to from now on. Shannon Hatch leading the scoring. Shannon Hatch also leading rebounds, leading the team and leading for the game with 10. Psyche, of course, 11, 11 assists. You're not going to get many people with more than 11 in a first half. Second, in fact, has three. So that shows you just the amount of playmaking dominance that she has shown. There's shot here. Senna putting the ball on the ground. It's that strange behind-the-shoulder mm. technique that we saw in the first half there from number 10 for Durham. That was a nice shot the there, corner. open on the three. Yeah, oh, wow. wow. Good shot, good shot. Chakru Etu. Mm. She's scored two three-pointers in the second quarter. Got her first one up nice and early in this one. It's just a nine-point lead for the Archers. They need to really, really kill this game off soon because otherwise Durham are going to get back into it. Oh, wow. Beautiful Mara, she knows how to use her physique, doesn't she? Yeah, I mean... Oh, running oh. out. They copied our playbook. I know. <laughs> you can't copy and paste. I'll copy and paste. No, we've been copying and pasting. So we've been getting out and running in that first half, and Durham looking to use the same techniques there. Mara, playmaking from the top of the key, sets the screen. Doesn't really take mm. advantage there, Abigail Yonke. Okay, number 10, Batista driving in. Yeah, that's a pretty low percentage shot there. She's got options here, Lauren. She's got open oh, wow. for three. Oh, wow. Yeah, the reverse. The oh, oh, lucky. But Love reverse again. layups. The best yeah. ones. Oh, my <laughs> gosh. It's so satisfying. And the mm. shot draws the foul and one. Mara, I can't oh, believe Mara, it. Yeah. yeah, she can't believe it either. Look at her. <laughs> I mean, it did look as if she was the one who initiated that contact. Mm. I mean, when you're the size that Mara is and dominate the kind of presence that she does you're going to get fouls called against you it's unfortunate um, bigs are always complaining that guards and small forwards get to do whatever they want inside and they never get called for it but as soon as a big gets in the lane gets in the way of other players the referees are straight to their whistle Shannon Hatch with a restart Lauren Psyche bringing it up Mara has gone off. I wonder if they're just slightly worried about her foul count. Mm. Izzy to Shannon Hatch. Lauren with a great step. Shannon's uh, open. She's going to get it in. Bucket. That's a three. Let's go, Shannon Hatch. 
She's been shooting it so well from the mid-range so far tonight. If she can just take that one step back, mm. hit it from that three-point line, this lead will grow. It's 11 points at oh, the moment. Oh, good help defense there. Oh, open shot. Bautista took ah. a step into that mid-range. Seems the technique's working for her then. Yeah. Shannon finds Izzy, instigating again. Oh, good, good. step. Yeah. She knew the contact was coming and she pulled up just to make sure that she got the shooting foul. The way she can find space and weave in between players is yeah. so good. It's such a good skill. She cuts through the offense. Oh, did they not call the shooting foul? Oh. Maybe she just jumped a little late. I thought she pulled up in time. Mm. Shannon always moving, ready to receive. Ooh. Lucky there. Open three. Oh. oh. You just believe that was going in with the form she's in. Abigail wins nice. it back. I thought the ball went out of play, but I'll take it. Can Lauren find space here? Lovely recovery from the dribble. Finds Shannon Great. from mid -range. And it's oh. in. Oh, my that goodness. Is, she's on fire. She is a killer from that mid-range. Hot zone hunter. Okay, there two finds. Jesse Wayne, leader in points for Durham. Jesse Wayne, Bautista of the Spanish International, can only find. Oh, they call a foul there? Well, the archers feel that it's necessary to call a mid game huddle. Shannon Hatch and Having seem to be delivering the message. So yes, Durham for two at the line. Yeah, and clean. Nice and clean. Well, the Met here need to put this game away. It looks as if Durham are just coming into themselves, finding their feet in this match. Archers need to really step up that intensity again and feed the hot hand of Shannon Hatch. Yep. Here she goes again. Nice swinging of the ball. Yeah, Shannon getting involved in the playmaking. Izzy moving the ball fast. Right. Oh, oh, lucky and lucky. She had a real lane there to drive into. They're pressing full court. Abigail Yunker's got to jump back. Good closeout. Oh, wow, number 10 again. She's on Hand it, isn't in she? the face, Bautista. Wow. That's points 11 for her now for the game. She hey. joins Jesse Wayne. At 11 points. It's good with archers. They always they use every single person in each play. Absolutely. They really know teamwork, don't they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's no ball stoppers out here. No ball stoppers. Everyone's moving. Lovely release from danger. And Shannon Hatch. Oh, unlucky there. I'm not really sure why yeah, she pulled yeah. out there. She had options outside. Mm. Oh, falling away. Okay. okay. Falling <laughs> away. <laughs> Lauren Psyche, what a game oh she's having God. today. That's the first person oh. beaten of the game. She's on the ground. Oh, she's the stolen hustle. it. Look at that. Uh, is that Archer's ball out of bounds? Uh, they've called a timeout. I don't think Durham are too happy about that. But what? That was, what that that was crazy. <laughs> Lauren Psyche, she is working so hard every single possession. Playmaking, instigating offense. There she's finishing it off with that fall away crazy. buzzer beater from mid range. And then she's on the ground again. She, she's defense. got it all. She's got it all. She's got it all. She's a real leader out there on the court for the Archers. Archers up eight. Five minutes left in this third penultimate quarter. Let's see if they can finish this game off strong. Remember that it's not just this game to remember. We've got four games coming up. We've got Leicester Riders away for the Mets. Oakland Wolves away. Seven Oak Suns away. And then the 10th of December, we are welcoming the London Lions to Archers Arena. So make sure to get yourself down here. The 10th of December, home game against the London Lions. We're getting started again. 
I wonder what kind of lineup we're seeing. So we've got Shannon, Izzy, Abigail. We've got Lauren and Hablin. Durham get it out to Jesse Wayne. Nice drive. Shukuetu. Whoa. Strong move there. That was very close. I think it might have been a foul. There might have been some contact on the arm there. But Shannon Hatch has got to be disappointed. She's very close to a clean block there. Mm. That's the mental part I've got to be careful with. Some things you just can't get out of your mind. You just got to wipe it and then just go back on to the next thing. Absolutely. That's the only way these lethal scorers mm. can get that kind of return. You've got to forget about your misses. Next time you come up the court, you're starting all over again. Chukwuetu at the line. Two for two. Okay, we've got people running out fast, but to be fair to Durham, they were back in preparation. Abigail Yanka now. Finding Shannon. Across the long psyche. Ooh. Finds the corner off the deflected pass. Audacious three-point, and she misses it all. Chukwu to Etu, bringing it up for the, for the transition. It's good transition defense from Archers. They are all on court ready. Absolutely. Oh, good defense there. Nice. Great work. There we are. Ah, ah. just comes off the foot. Oh, Marisaki. annoying. That's annoying. It was a really, really, really great work by number seven, Lara Havling. That bounces off the foot of our point guard. And Bautista with the quarter of the top of the key. Oh, early jumper. Yeah. Mm. Rushed that maybe a little. But on psych, he gets in oh. and looks for Abigail Yanka. Maybe a bit of a sloppy pass. Oh, nice drive Move. there. Oh, that's annoying. She gets a bit the of foul. There. Yeah, she got a foul. That's good. You want to get to the line. Unfortunately for the archers, they haven't been shooting it fantastically from the free throw line. It's just a 44% clip from the line for the Archers. Compare that with Durham, who are shooting a 92% mm. tip from the line. So maybe it's these wasted opportunities mm. at the free throw line that are letting Durham back into this game. It's a seven point lead for the Archers. Need good, strong defense here. Miscommunication. Ball goes out, Durham ball. So on a screen like that there, you're our professional in the field, so how are they meant to decide whether or not they're going for the switch? Because there you had Psyche and, and Lauren Habling wondering which one's going with the ball carrier and which one's staying mm. with the big. Mm. Oh, look at that, there we go. Can you get it? Oh, oh. She, she does seem to miss a bit. Maybe it's the pressure as well of going at mm. such a high speed. I mean, and she knows that she's on the court in the place of Mara. Mm. I mean, mm. she's such a present on the court. Yeah. And there she's just left a pretty easy turnaround hook for Al Hendershoot. It's hard to defend under the basket. It's so easy to foul. Of course. And when we're talking about a team that's shooting, 92% from the line maybe. Wow. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. And one. Again, Lauren. The cannon. It's the, the cannon. cannon. The cannon strikes again. The cannon fires again. <laughs> So we'll be heading to the line for one extra point here for Lauren Psyche. Well, maybe Shannon Hatch has been the leading scorer, but if you're looking for a player of the game so far, look no further. And it's down. And it's in. Shannon Hatch has 20 points to lead the Archers at the moment. Let's see if she can do anything on the defensive end. Good aggress, really aggressive number 10. Number 10 for Durham, that's Bautista. Lauren Psyche looking to move the ball quickly, finds Abigail. Yunker. Wow. What a drive! Yeah, there we go! There we go. She's gone Beautiful. for that twice that was, before. There we go. She's gone for that twice before mm. and it hasn't come off. Third time lucky. Shannon Hatch on the defensive end. And it's won by Yunker. Oh, can't oh, that's quite a shame. contain it. Oh, she's found oh. a lane there. Oh, that's annoying she missed that one. Yeah. yeah. Is he sloppy? Bit of a risky there. pass, yeah, yeah. 
Needs to get up the court. Slow it down, oh. maybe. Oh. So that's Archer's ball. I think it was blocked cleanly there. Mm -mm. So are we setting up for a foul restart? Or an out of bounds? I think it's just out of bounds. Shannon Hatch again, mid range. Wow. Oh, it's butter. Wow. It's butter. It is. Smooth leg butter. There we go, Jesse Wayne. Handing it off to her backcourt partner. Ooh, risky oh, there. Nice. Good, good steal there. Abigail Yunker. There we are. Right hand oh. layup. How to do it. Good. Strength. She's asking for an and one there. Mm. I think she's always going to fall on over going up against an opposition center. Three point shot there. No. Oh, Jesse Wayne can't score again. Good rebound though. Ella Hender, she is working hard on the glass for Durham this quarter. Okay, so we're going to get another restart from the side out here. Archers up by 14, only a minute 50 remaining in this quarter. They'll be happy. They restored that lead. There was a time when they were up by only six in this quarter. So to be back at nearly, nearly 15 points. We've got to give them credit for that, the Archers. Mm. That shot Ooh. was thrown up in a hurry. Mm. She gets through the offense. She's got Bautista open. She ignores. She finds Jesse Wayne. She finds Bautista. Too late. Shannon Hatch oh, read it just go. as well as we all did here at the Archers Arena. Abigail Lianca looking to come back towards the center. Oh, and that was a nice look. Nice look. Yeah. Nice little give and go from Shannon Hatch and her running opposite drives. And it comes off Durham for an Archers restart. Well, we've had a couple of buckets coming off these off-ball screens. Ah, not today. Ella Hendershot, happy to play it out. She finds the corner, but Cheshev. Laura, again, with the oh, pass look ahead. at that. Yeah! <laughs> Is that 24 for Shannon Hatch? 24 points. 24 points, did you say? Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Higher than her own number on her jersey. No, no, no. <laughs> 24 points. My God. Number 22 scoring 24 points. Another rebound for Psyche. Uh, that's Kim there with the three-point shot. She gets oh. her own rebound. Oh. oh, the ball really doing something unusual there. Jesse Wayne looking to score. Nice dribble. Can she keep a hold of it here? She's stuck. Planted her foot. And oh. a hand to shot. Told to maybe. get up. I think she might be a bit injured. Got some good sportsmanship yeah. coming over here. You've got to say, fair play to the Archers. Mm. Putting competition aside, Laura Habling. But she was told to get up mm. by the official when she called for that foul. It did look like a flop, I must say. But if there was some kind of injury, maybe just a bit of pain. Mm. You can understand it. It's a fast-paced game. She's been playing on the court more than anyone else. She's got more minutes than anyone on the court currently. Her and Jesse Wayne locked at 28 minutes. Lauren. I love the sportsmanship from Lara, though, how she waited with her when she was on the floor. Absolutely, and now yeah, she's now cleaning, she's cleaning it. it. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you've got to say, we've got some humble players, mm. happy to work, happy to do mm. anything that needs to be done, even if it is helping out the opposition. Yeah. So a 16-point lead currently for the Archers. We're going to get the ball back in in the Durham half. 15 seconds. If they're clever, they'll wait and hold for the last shot here. Psyche wants the ball. She's calling the play. Laura with the back screen. Shannon comes for the three. Oh, oh, unlucky, unlucky, off. unlucky. Lauren, Psyche what? again! Yes! Oh, oh my god, no back, way! Back Are you joking? Back. Oh my god! Back to back. Fall away. That is crazy. Lauren, Psyche. <laughs> what a game she's having! Phenomenal, honestly, wow. She must be on cloud nine. Lauren, Psyche, 11 points. She's shooting four for eight from two. She's shooting three for five from the line. 
She hasn't shot a single three-pointer this whole game, but the big one that we've got circled, 15 assists. Assists. Wow. 15 assists, two buzzer beaters, 15 assists. I'll take that for a whole game. She's got that pretty much in one quarter. Incredible, incredible. Well, it did look like for a minute there, Durham were going to come back into this game. Yeah. The lead dropped to just six in that quarter. Archer's end is yeah. strong again. I mean, 18 points for the final score. We've got one quarter left to go. Is this just out of reach for Durham now, would you say, Candice? I do believe so. Yeah. I, I hate to say it, but I think Archers are just acting so strong and they are being really consistent. And especially now with all the support from home fans, yeah, they're just fueled. And especially with these crazy moments with Lauren, I just honestly think the only way is up for them. I so. mean, I'm going to be interested to see what they do in terms of rotations here in this fourth quarter. Mm -hmm. If the Archers do choose to people like Shannon Hatch and Lauren Psyche, who've played a lot this game, maybe take them out in this fourth quarter for an extra rest or whether they'll be going for as many points as possible i must say i'm starting to worry about my prediction of triple digits yeah <laughs> it's not looking too good right now but hey who knows there we are we're back in the fourth quarter kim k wow beautiful with a spin, spin move. move amazing that's how you start quarter yeah. and it's won by shannon hatch oh, oh weak on the layup and lucky oh it's one there. Pretty She's fast. got there we go. support. I'm Bit not sure if that was a poor shot or a poor alley oop attempt. Not on Psyche bringing the ball up for the Met. Looking to calm it down maybe a little here. Abigail Yonka finds King Kang. She wants to go inside again. Yep. Oh, nearly a travel there. Wow. Wow. That's a three. That's a three. Lauren Havling with a three. And they haven't been shooting it well from behind the, uh, the line today, the Archers. But Lauren Havling's got two. Lauren well read for that top of the key run. Havling with great defense. Hands straight up. Shannon Hatch is running. Oh, oh. oh. Kim Kem yeah. doing the same thing I was, looking ahead. Yeah. Not worrying about the defense in front of her. Abigail Yanka brings the ball up now. Maybe giving Lauren Psyche a little bit of a rest just to give her 10 steps without the ball. Off ball movement. Psyche's planted her feet, directing everyone away. And she's got space there. Oh. Yeah, ball, unfortunate there. Barbato brings it up for Durham. He finds Batista. Air two open at the three point line. Took a while to get her shot up. And Abigail Younger with a strong rebound. Nice. Gets she ahead of the, the center. Way, the Here way. we go. Wow. Oh my god. What the, a the control move. is just so good. I mean, she really got into the defender there yeah. before yeah. turning around for that fadeaway. Takes a lot of confidence to take that. Never Ooh. mind make it. Good call from ref there. Yeah, and well done from Abigail Yanka to know not to release the ball, that the defender was too close, that if she turned, the contact's there already. Mm. Well, we haven't seen any substitutions in a little while. This outfit finished the last two, three minutes of the third and is getting started for the first two, three minutes of the fourth. I wonder if we've seen the end for some of these girls on the bench today. Abigail Yonka now, looking to drive. Kim Kang with space. Another miss. And Laura Havlin gets a foul on the putback. She's headed to the line for two herself. Laura Havlin off the bench. I mean, she's made a real impact. She's had a couple of misses, but she's been very, very good defensively and offensively. I mean, she's got three defensive rebounds, two steals, a block. She's got two threes as well in the game. So offensively, she's really made an impact as well as on the defensive end, as you'd expect. Nice. And Good. she makes both. Two for two. Two for two. Durham bringing the ball back up now with Jesse Wayne again, leading their team 13 points. Only two since the half, though. And that's Good just a little too there. strong. 14. Good. Wow, Ella and the shots. She's been yeah, fantastic nice on the glass for Durham. Great dribble there by Shannon Hatch. 
she's got the move as well. Abigail Yanko going all the way. Ah, uh, maybe a little, little too greedy there. Tunnel vision. Number 10 again. Well, Tistav getting Very her strong. body into Abigail Yanko. Tip pass there by King Kang, but they managed to retrieve it, Durham. Foul before the shot. What's good as well is the communication. You can hear them. Absolutely. They are so loud on court and they know exactly what they're doing, both teams. Yeah. I mean, Durham really have to be as focused as possible, but it's impressive that the Archers haven't let this lead make them take their foot off the gas. They're still talking, still working hard. Close out from Kim Kang here. Whoa, uh, nice scoop lay up there on the left. In front of her, yeah. Nice finish. Abigail Yonker looking for that backdoor pass. Can't quite make the run. Wow, Shannon what a good Kang. cut! Oh, oh, unlucky, unlucky. It's unfortunate. She's not really come out firing, Shannon Hatch, in this quarter, but she's been fantastic this game. It's another left hand layup. Jesse Wayne scores her fourth points of this half, her 15th for the game. Timeout called by Cardiff Nets. Got a 19 point lead here. I mean, Archer's just getting further and further away. It was 18 at the start of the uh, start of the quarter. We're up at 19 now. I reckon we're going to see Mara coming back in. She looks as if she's taken her training jacket off. She looks ready to go. Mm -hmm. I, I, I think we're going to see her coming back in at some point here. Ella Hendershot. She's played 32 minutes here. She's played more than everyone except Jesse Wayne for Durham. But she's played more than everyone for, for the Met. No wow. one's played 30 minutes for us. She's been on a lot. 11 rebounds, 9 points and 4 assists. She's been strong on the, on the, on the glass. I think the referees want to get the game back started. But the coach is just milking a little <laughs> bit of extra time here. We've had to get two or three whistles from the officials. How vital are these times out, Candies? When you're running non-stop up and down the court, how much is that breather? They're so, so vital, even psychologically, having a break and understanding a different perspective of what's going on is so important. Yeah. Just one, one point is just what you need to make a huge difference in the game. And the chance for the coaches to relay some information about how they want you to carry on mm. and conduct yourselves in these yeah. final minutes. Shannon Hatch, difficult ball to control, but she manages it. Lauren Psyche trying to oh, use the screen. She's so comfortable on the ball. She is, that ball. Oh. It's on a string. What a shot! Oh, oh my god. Mid-range pull up in your face. Bautista here looking to make something happen. Jesse Wayne looking to pull that shot back. Oh, that's yes, a good layup. Another nice layup. Very nice layup. This is why I'm wondering if Mara needs to come back in. They're getting too much at the rim here, mm -hmm. Durham. Shannon, another wow. great move inside. Shannon just emerges out of nowhere, doesn't she? She always <laughs> finds the right lane to drive into. Oh, Abigail can't keep the ball under that, control. Yeah. And those are the moments where you have to really realize how well Lauren Psyche is doing all these times where she manages to keep the ball in those situations. Mm. No one else on the court seems to be able to direct it through all these bodies. Mm. There's Brawl here for Durham. Looking to drive again. Far too strong. Shannon getting up and joining in late. Don't think that means she's out of it. That means she's aiming for oh, that back end again. Oh, unlucky. Fourth straight miss for Shannon Hatch in this fourth quarter. Jesse Wayne needs a go to Brault. And Lauren Bradling, can she win it back? She can. She's got runners here, Shannon Hatch. Can she? On the left. Oh, oh lucky, no. lucky. 13 just had that finger touch on the ball. Absolutely. It's just not her quarter. She had a fantastic game, but for some reason, Maybe just a little gassed out here, Shannon Hatch. Jesse Wayne is open, not used her. Ooh. That's an air ball from Durham. Lauren Psyche telling everyone to calm down. Got plenty to 
plenty of a lead here. Archers don't need to rush anything. No. Make sure to get a good shot. Good swing in the ball again. Yeah, movement there all the time. There she drives again. Ooh. Oh, unlucky, that's unlucky. Yeah. She thought she had a bit more space than she did there. Yeah. Brawl spinning the ball up here for Durham. Jesse yeah, Wayne trying good to steal. find it, but there Lauren are. sees good job, it. Lauren. Oh, look how she cut behind the pass Amazing. there. Did you manage to slow She's that down again. as well? She doesn't seem to want to shoot it herself from three. No. She hasn't taken a single one all game. I wonder if that's something that she could incorporate to her game. How much more she could offer? And Shannon Hatch. That mid range. There we go. Shot number six. First one to go down of this quarter. That is a massive 26 points for Shannon Hatch in this game. No way. 26. <laughs> well won there. Abigail Yanka read the pass. We've got Shannon Hatch on her left. She's got two open on the right there. Laura Havlin looking for the post play. Abigail Yanka clear three. from three. Unlucky. Can't rebound, get the rebound number 10. Is Barbato looking to step inside? Brawled. Well stolen. She's got to go all the way. Coast to coast. There we go. There we are. Laura Havling. Points 10 for her now. 10 points. Remember, she hit two threes. That helped boost her total a little. It's great to have that kind of shooting for a bigger player off the bench. Unfortunately, she gives away. And Anne won there. Didn't really need to put that hand on the back. She was Mara never going to get back in. There we are. Yeah. That's what we predicted a little while ago. But for these last two and a half minutes now, we're going to get a young star in Izzy and the reliable Mara Marshatazi. Well, Abigail Yunker seems to have come alive in this second half. She ended the first with six, but has ended up with 15 here by the end of the fourth, by the fourth quarter. Shannon Hatch, another rebound for her. That's 15. So she has 26. Well, 15. Izzy looking to get open. Molly James can't find her. Hatch That's looking for Mara. Mara there. Back Izzy out. screaming for the ball. Molly James wants to go herself. He needs to get involved. Careful there, we've got 10 seconds on the shot. Oh, a legal screen, is it? Yeah, a legal screen from Mara. Unfortunate to come off before because of her foul count. And as soon as she comes in, there's another problem. No legal screen. Abigail Yanka looking to defend here. Trying to keep out a play of. And oh, it's well defended by Shannon yeah. Hatch. See, she was on the floor and she managed to just get right up. Right up, straight up. So there's no way the referees can call a foul. Is that a foul on Izzy there? I believe so. Durham from the side out, restart. Archers lead by 21. Just a minute and 40 seconds left in this game. What a fantastic match we've had. Pachechev. Oh, no. no, can't make it. Kim Kang looking to bring him, it up. Yeah. Izzy, she was desperate to get involved in that last play. Can she instigate anything here? Mm. Passes it off. Molly James finds Izzy off the cut. No. Goes to Kim. Izzy's open again. You've got to say, she doesn't stop moving. No. She always Mara. puts herself in the right position. Yeah. yeah. That was a foul, surely. Yeah. So Mara's headed to the line for two of her own. She's had four fouls in this game. So it would be nice for her to get to the final line herself. Mara's only got six points today. Four rebounds. Not been able to play as much as maybe we'd expect. And the clap there from the fans for Shannon Hatch who's gone to the exercise bike. 26 points and 15 rebounds for the small forward. What a game. Mara now. There we are, nice. First one's down. One for one. 
26 and 15. Take that any day of the week, wouldn't you? Oh, ah. unlucky there. One for two. And Bautista bringing it up. We've got Molly James on her back. Looking to find the open shooter. Oh, there. Nice drive there. Wow, wow that's really wow. good. And one. And one. Is that on Mara again? She may. Yeah, she's being called out. She's saying no. Well, she's, she's not happy. She's not happy. <laughs> nope. Not going to go out again. <laughs> she had to go out early in the third. That is the last foul before she is fouled out of the game. She has one more opportunity. Otherwise, Steph Collins will have no choice but to bring Lauren Badling back in. So, we've got Bad Beto. We got under a minute left now. Archers maybe playing for some personal pride here. People wanting to get some extra points registered. Is he looking for the long drive? Ooh. Nearly got her own rebound. Ball goes away. It's Durham's. Yeah, 45 seconds left. Okay. It's Bautista trying to instigate. She's got a lane open. Ooh. Is he jumped early? Ball knocked wow, loose. Wow, good pass there. It's Moreau. Oh, oh, unlucky. She fouled going up. I believe so. Two shots. If she gets these in, these are her first points in WBBL. Wow. Well, Camille Verone. French import here. <laughs> yeah, wow. good wow. job. Wow. Well done. <laughs> Round of applause. Absolutely yeah. necessary. Yeah. Quite an achievement. Unlucky, but that's amazing. There you go. One for two. So it's Etu bringing it up, only 25 seconds to go. We've got to probably milk this to make sure that Archers don't get another score up. Once That's again, nice they go three. early. Wow, the That's height of the ball on this one as well. Such a nice arc yeah. there from Pacheshev. Okay. Got 10 seconds left. Izzy to close it out, uses Mara. Can she finish? Three. Oh, lucky! Wow. Well, that oh is my gosh. game. Archers win 89 to Durham 72. A fantastic match for Shannon Hatch. A fantastic match for the Archers. Well, Candice, what Incredible. did you think of that? What did you think of that? What did you think of that? That was... I've just got a big smile on my face. Amazing. A big smile. <laughs> Amazing. What a way to welcome the whole fans to Kinkoid Campus here yeah. for the first time this season. Yeah. A 17-point win. Archers are 3-0 and oh in the WBBL this season. What a roster they have put together. What a team they are. Incredible. You see the smiles on the coaches, the players. Absolutely. All joined in the huddle. Well, Durham, they've got a long drive home. I've got a feeling they'll be a little happier today than they were last time out. They yep. lost by 54 last week. I understand, you know, 17-point loss, still a pretty big gap, but they've got a but lot. Much, much better, yeah, yeah. A lot, a lot to improve on. Well, from all of us here at Cardiff Met Sport TV, yeah. thank you for joining me. I've been David Jones, and I've been joined by Candice. Thank you ever so much for joining us today. We'll see you next time. Cheers. Autograph papers are at